A conversation with Franklin continues. So for 24 years, Franklin, you own the Golden State Warriors, the San Francisco Golden State Warriors. You operate them yourself. You're the guy in charge. Well, I had had, um, you know, 24 years. I'd done, you know, I, um, I was finding at that time in my life that the losing was getting more on me than the winning was booing me up. And I figured it was time, you know, that I, that I, that I just got out of it. I didn't want to give it all up. I wanted to have a hand in it because I love them. It's part of me. It's like a kid. Kids grow up. They'll go on, but, but they're still yours, you know. And we, we, I, I, um, I'll never forget my part of it. it. I had a part of it during those early days. And, you know, and um, someday, the, the, whatever footprints I leave in the sand, I know a big part of it's going to be the Warriors. How would you sum up your, your owning the club? I mean, it's so difficult to go back over that span of time. But what, have the, what has the Warriors organization meant to you personally? Well, you know, um, as I told you, that, that I, you know that I, I have um, I had a piece of the Giants, a piece of the 49ers, and I had the Warriors. I, I've enjoyed all of them, you know, but, but the Warriors were my baby. You know, <laughs> the, the, I, uh, the, the Giants and the 49ers get along with or without me. But there were times when the Warriors would have, died without me mm -hmm. I and mean, I, I kept them alive uh, they're my baby they're mine and um, uh, th th I guess there's, there's, how do you how do you judge that you know mm -hmm. you have a romance the romance is gone but your kid is yours forever mm -hmm.